I met Jason 27 years ago. We've been best friends ever since then. What I'm seeing with Ricky's technology is we're taking a certain amount of his physical capacity and creating it as an input to a computer system. ALS doesn't affect the mind. There's this disconnect between the mind and the, and the physical body. You're measuring the amount of muscle engagement and movement, and then he was able to control a music production system. It opens up the possibility for just much greater ranges of expression, changing the volume of a track or adding vibrato. There are musical possibilities, but there's really possibilities for sort of anything within, within the home. You know, you can take the movement that's coming from Jason's body and use it to do things like turn the lights up and down. My name is Ricky. As a physical therapist, I really like to help people. We've made a device that can detect even the slightest muscle activity. This technology can help Jason to become more independent, to help Jason express his awesome, great creative ideas uh, in a more intuitive and effective way. Best T H thing I ever P L play. You've got two feet, and you can have a single tap, you can have double tap, you can have double taps of two feet, mm -hmm. and then once you get good, you can have double taps that you go within the ranges. So you go from here to here or here to here, and that can toggle various different screens and it's just the combinations, I think, are, are beyond being linear and beyond being two-dimensional. I see this as an enabling technology. You know, touch at points where he wants to make notes while it's playing back, all without having to say stop, all without uh, having to, you know, necessarily stop the flow of the production. Um, it, it'll give him a lot of independence to be able to go through and work creating a tool to help people um, improve their lives. And I think when you have that motivation, really amazing things can get done.